Gut health and anxiety. If you're wondering how to manage your anxiety naturally, or if you know you have gut health issues and you're wondering if they're contributing to your anxiety or making it worse, then this video is for you. Our guts are directly connected to our brains, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how your gut health may be contributing to your anxiety, and then I'll give you some tips on what you can do to start to fix it. I'm Kelsey Ale. I'm a certified nutritional therapist and a gut health specialist at KelseyAle.com. I help people heal their guts and recover from chronic illness like digestive disorders, autoimmune disease, and mood disorders using food and food-based supplements. If this sort of thing interests you or you feel like it's relevant to you, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. I post new videos every week. So like I was saying, your gut is literally directly connected to your brain via a nerve called the vagus nerve. That's vague us, not vagus. Now the vagus nerve plays a huge role in both anxiety and depression. And for our purposes today, it plays a huge role in communicating messages from the gut to the brain because that's how it happens about 80% of the time. The gut is sending messages to the brain while only about 20% of the time is the brain sending messages to the gut. And this is actually a big reason you may have heard the gut referred to as the second brain because it can basically function completely on its own without the brain having to tell it what to do. So you could say it kind of has a mind of its own. So when your gut is healthy, it means inflammation is low and your microbiome is balanced. A balanced microbiome means that you have a wide array of the right kinds of microorganisms or microbes to help your system to thrive. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you've probably heard me say that microbial diversity is the number one indicator of good gut health. So we want both balance and diversity, and that's what yields a healthy gut, which allows us to feel great in our bodies, especially when it comes to managing anxiety. Because as it turns out, one of the things we rely on our healthy microbiome to do is produce feel good, calming, relaxing hormones like GABA, dopamine, and serotonin. About 50 to 60% of these hormones are made by your microbiome in your gut with serotonin production happening at almost about 90% in your gut. And these hormones are responsible for helping to calm our nervous system, they support our ability to experience pleasure, and they enhance our feelings of happiness and well-being. But when you have low microbial diversity, you're lacking the microbes necessary to produce these hormones in adequate amounts, which leaves you deficient in these calming, relaxing hormones. So you can already see just from this little tidbit how having poor gut health and low microbial diversity could lead to you having a poor mood and experiencing anxiety. Now let's consider another possible factor, gut infections. Potentially, your microbiome is off because of an invasion of bad microbes or just microbes that aren't supposed to be in the gut, which constitutes an infection. This could be the case if you've had food poisoning or if you're chronically constipated or maybe you picked up a bug while you were traveling or just from eating a piece of unwashed produce. So what happens now? Well, when you have a gut infection, it makes things worse. Because for starters, when you have an invasion of bad microbes, they're gonna start displacing and pushing out the beneficial microbes that are making your happy hormones. The bad or invasive microbes also create chemicals as a way of making the environment around them a little bit more comfortable for them or as a way of making it easier for them to reproduce in your system. And these chemicals can lead to systemic inflammation, including the neuroinflammation that we now know is associated with both anxiety and depression. Some of these bad microbes, get this, some of these bad microbes even create chemicals that specifically target your vagus nerve in an effort to send messages from your gut to your brain to cause anxiety because that's how they're able to spread more effectively. Other studies have shown a correlation between the stomach infection, H. pylori, and increased anxiety. And this is because H. pylori is the bacteria that is responsible for the formation of most stomach ulcers. Whereas the old way of thinking was that stress and anxiety caused ulcers, what we realized over time is that it was actually the formation of the ulcers due to the H. pylori that was causing anxiety. 
And this is because an ulcer can be a potentially lethal internal injury if it's not treated properly. So it makes sense that your body would be experiencing and living in a constant state of distress if you were living with ulcers. These studies showed that once the H. pylori was eradicated, the ulcers began to heal and the anxiety diminished. So with this basic overview and a few of the key factors at play, you can see how poor gut health could be contributing to or worsening your anxiety. And if you experience anxiety along with other symptoms like digestive issues or skin issues, for example, that's an even clearer sign that a gut health imbalance is contributing to your anxiety. And I say this just because if you do have a gut health imbalance, most likely anxiety isn't your only symptom. You will be experiencing other symptoms like bloating and gas and diarrhea or constipation, skin issues, food sensitivities, and that sort of thing. So what can you do about it? Well, the first step to building a healthy gut and a healthy microbiome is to change the way you're eating. Namely, you need to start eating as many vegetables and as many different kinds of vegetables as humanly possible. Now, I explain in another video why veggies are so important for gut health, in addition to my other top four recommended gut healthy foods to eat every day. So definitely check that video out and start to build your diet around gut healing foods. Next, and this one's gonna hurt, cut out sugar. This is gonna be so hard for so many people, but it can also be literally life and digestion changing. Sugar wreaks havoc on pretty much every system of the body, including causing more neuroinflammation and feeding pathogens and exacerbating pre-existing gut conditions. So step two, my second recommendation would be cut out sugar. You should also definitely continue seeing your therapist or counselor, and if you don't have a therapist or counselor, consider finding some sort of support system for you. This can make a huge difference when it comes to managing anxiety. I know that it's personally made a huge night and day difference in my life and my experience of anxiety, so it's just important that you know that you don't have to do it alone. You may also wanna try adding in a really high quality probiotic. I linked my personal favorite down below. It is a therapeutic grade spore-based probiotic that I recommend to a ton of my clients and that I personally use too. And just a potentially helpful side note, if you notice that you increase your vegetable consumption and or you add in a high quality probiotic and it actually makes some of your symptoms worse, it could be an indicator of a specific kind of gut health infection. So I think these are really good foundational points to start with. Um, begin building your diet and your nutrition routine around gut healthy foods um, because diet is the number one way to influence a healthy microbiome. Cut out sugar. Um, find, find a way to build a support system. Um, continue seeing your counselor or therapist if you have one and integrate a high quality probiotic. And if you're interested in learning more about natural remedies for anxiety, please let me know in the comments. It is a topic that I'm very passionate about. So if you want content on this, I would love to create it. <laughs> and if you're ready to really commit to healing your gut and you know you thrive in a group environment, I'm now accepting signups for my new gut health coaching program. It's an eight week live guided course that takes you through every step you need to know in order to truly heal your gut in an effective way. We have live weekly calls where you can ask your most important health questions and every week we go over a different specific topic to help you heal your gut for good. The next program is coming up soon and because it's a live program, signups are going to be limited. So click the link below to get more information and to claim your spot today. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is also one video that is part of a series um, that I'm gonna be making uh, called Gut Health And. So definitely keep an eye out for the next video, which will be about gut health and acne. For now, you can check out these videos next on how to heal your gut naturally. If you did get something out of this video, feel free to share it with your friends. Remember, hit the like button, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video, and that's it, that's all. Take care, I'll see you next time.